Hello Aries and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. I, you know, honestly, I just keep getting that this person is trying to make a decision, okay? I feel like they're trying to make a decision and there could be there could be a feminine energy who knows that they're about to get cut out of this person's life because honestly um they this masculine i feel like it's a masculine who just wants to have this new beginning wants to have a victory okay and i feel like there's a karmic um, i you know i want to say she's a karmic cuz she's really worried about what people are going to think about her yeah, see, and here you are as everything. You're in the process of closing out a cycle with this person from your past. Um, and you are now um, very balanced in your emotions. So I feel like you've healed. You've got all of this abundance around you, all of these opportunities around you. Spirit has put you in the public eye as well. You could have your own platform. Um, you could just be extremely popular or something in whatever it is that you're doing. You're attracting a lot of attention to yourself. You could have your own um, online business, okay? And it seems like you're growing. You're reaching people around the world. I mean, and you're looking good, too. You've been possibly um, exercising a lot, maybe working on your body, okay? I feel like you've gone through a major transformation here. What I'm really seeing is whoever this person chose over you, she knows that she's about to go. She's about to be cut off or cut out uh, because there's no way that she can compete with you. She's scared. Whoever this is is scared. And she can't stop thinking about this um, at night, especially... She's like, how do I, and she's feeling very self-conscious, okay? She's looking at herself like, I can't compete with the collective, no way, you know? Yeah, she's thinking that this is unfair, okay? And unfair, um, it's unfair that she can't compete with you. She can't have your life. She can't copy you. She can't be you, Um. I feel like, too, this is somebody who has gossiped about you. This is somebody who um, gets together with her friends to try to cut you down, um, laugh at you. I feel like this is a, I feel like this is all the way a karmic, okay? I mean, she has, she has really um, dragged your reputation through the mud, made fun of you, um, tried to make you like a, a mockery, okay? And now she's like having to eat her own word. She's eating crow, basically. So she's in, she's going to end up being very embarrassed because she said a lot about you and kind of tried to turn you into a joke. And now this masculine, I feel like they want to choose you. They know who it is that they want. They're um, already like on their horse here, ready to ride in to make you some kind of offer, wanting a new beginning. They've made a choice, okay, and it's not this other feminine energy. It's going to be you. Yeah, they want to work on things with you. They're being spiritually led. That This person has been doing their work. That's what this is. They've been learning a spiritual lesson. They've been putting in the work, okay, and now this, this person is, I feel like they may be ready to come forward. Yeah, they're wanting to give you an apology now. Yep, yeah, they want to say they're sorry. I just heard um, something about, is it too late to say that I'm sorry? Ba -na 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 -na. I don't know who does that song, but that's the song that I got. Yeah, because they feel like an absolute fool. I feel like they've gone backwards in life since they left you behind and chose this other feminine over you. I feel like this feminine was a karmic who surrounded herself by karmic friends. And, and this masculine was then surrounded by karmic feminines because there's three feminines here. 
they could have been doing some kind of spell work, like kitchen magic, right? To try to um, bring you down, stop your progress, ruin your glow up. You could be dealing with the Pisces, maybe a Virgo and Aries. You could possibly be a Taurus, maybe an Aries. Yeah, they're coming in now. This is, um, I feel like there's been no communication, no contact with this person for maybe even years. Um, I'm also feeling like this, whoever this masculine is, they could have gotten into a commitment with this, um, with this other feminine energy. If they did, that's ending in a divorce. She knows. Oh, she knows she can't. See, uh, this whole time, I feel like she was laughing at you because she, you know, um, she was with your person. It's almost like she was kind of stealing your person away from you, okay? And now, um, this masculine is going back to choose you. She knows they're going to be coming forward to apologize. She could have already been cut out of this masculine's life. And just feeling like a fool. Well, she's been trying to compete with an earth angel. Number one, you haven't been competing. And you're still coming out victorious. And number two, she, you know, you're just, you're, you're a divine being here. And she can't, she can't match that. Okay? She can't even match it. How is she going to beat it? Right? This masculine sees you as their Ten of Pentacles. You could already be in the Ten of Pentacles energy where you're very financially stable, very abundant and successful. Okay, Earth Angel energy here. You could be a Sagittarius. Um, you're very balanced in your emotions. She's not. She's very, I feel like she's just very toxic. She's jealous, she's envious, she's embarrassed, she's a feeling ashamed. Now she feels like she's going to be the mockery, okay? So the tables have completely turned on this karmic. Um, and this masculine now is coming in to choose you, collective. Oh yeah, and here they come. This knight of cups coming in with a big old apology. Uh, really moving on this now. I mean, before they, they weren't coming forward, you know, they knew they wanted to, they knew they had to make things right, but they weren't budging. Now they're moving in, uh, towards you kind of fast. All right. With the Knight of Cups energy. They're seeing things from a whole new perspective now. And I feel like they're absolutely stuck on you, even upside down in their life, man. This person is still... Um, I feel obsessed about the earth angel. Yep, they're wanting to get back together. So get ready because this person's coming in. They're going to want to reunite. They're going to give you an apology, a love offer, um, promises for the future. They could have already walked away from this karmic, okay? Um... Yeah, because this karmic is kind of it. She's in the Ten of Swords now. Feeling can maybe betrayed. Wanting some revenge with justice in reverse. Um, coming out with this devil energy. Yeah, all the illusions are down. This person knows, this masculine knows that they missed out on a blessing in love. You're the, um, you're the holy grail cup of love. Like, they know now that you were the blessing, and they should have never turned their, their nose up at you, right? Uh, I feel like they may even get fairly emotional and cry. They're definitely coming in to confess how they feel, okay? Yeah. But this karmic, she may want to um, face you as well. She may want to come and, and confront you as well. So, because I feel like this karmic wants some major revenge here. She doesn't like feeling like the mockery she tried to make it you into. You know, use your intuition. I feel like you're not really, you're not speaking to either one of these people. That's one of the things that this masculine can't stand is your silence. 
But I feel like your silence is one of the things that's kept you safe in all of this. So I feel like, you know, just sort of um, feel out the energy, you know. Um, I don't know. I feel like your silence is, is really a benefit to you right now, okay? This person's going to tell you they don't want to let you go. They're about to communicate. They're about to take action towards you. I, you know, I can see this as being online communication, but I get the feeling like this person is going to come to your home or you're going to see them face to face somewhere. But they're definitely taking some kind of action. They may want to know if um, if you're with anybody else because you're out here in star energy with the world card attracting a lot of attention to yourself. Okay, so they're going to want to know if, if you've been giving your energy to anybody, if you've been maybe sleeping with anybody. Have you been intimate with anyone? Are you seeing anyone? Are you dating anyone? Um you know, they may have even seen you, like, on a dating site somewhere, okay? They want to know if there's any competition. Are they going to have to put up a fight for this new beginning? They want to know. Knight of Swords energy. They want to know um, because they don't want to let you go, but it's been a long time since you've been around this person and they don't know what you you know what's going on with you yeah see i feel like they'd be heartbroken if they if they thought that you were with someone else if they knew you were with someone else that would wreck them okay it would hit them like a wrecking ball but they also realize that you have every right to be um seeing other people because they were with the karmic so yeah. You know, it's one of those things where they just don't want to let you go. They know that you're leveling up, upgrading, elevating, okay, ascending, but they don't want to let you go. Okay, and they don't want you to move on with anyone else. You know, the lover's card is a choice. They want you to choose them. Okay? Right now, this person is choosing you. They want you to choose them like you did once before. But I don't, I feel like you're moving on with your life. You're closing out a cycle here. Yeah, closing out a cycle. And I feel like you have an emperor coming. Okay, so yeah, you may even have already met someone new. They may be finding out that um, you're already with someone new. And they may have to really fight for you. Ooh, maybe it's either you are already with someone new or that's the judgment call that the divine is making and they're bringing you an emperor. Okay. Either way, you're about to get an emperor. And this person, they're, gonna, they're either going to have to compete for your love um, and try to win you back after, after how how badly they treated you i mean they treated you like an like an option okay um they treated you like you didn't matter like you were invisible they chose someone else over you possibly had a long-term relationship with them you never heard from them they didn't give you your closure and apology consideration or respect how is this person going to compete with an emperor <clears throat> I'll wait. How are they going to compete with an emperor? Sure, they don't want to let you go. You know, who would want to let you go? You, you seem to be everything out here. An earth angel. Someone who's very abundant and successful. You know, of course they don't want to let you go, but didn't they do that already? I, th I, I I don't know. I, I Maybe I'm confused. I feel like this person already left you behind. They just want you back. And they're going to have to compete. And they're not going to be able to compete with this new emperor. Okay? This new emperor is every king in the deck. 
And when the emperor finds you, man, they're not going to leave your side. They're going to defend you. They're going to stand by you. They're going to protect you. This person waited too long. They stayed too long in a karmic situation and they lost an earth angel. And spirits making a judgment call. You know, you've got someone new coming in. All right, so what can you show me? How is this person feeling? I feel like they're going to have some kind of tower moment. Yeah, very vulnerable. See, defenseless, unprotected, helpless. If they find out you're with someone new or you're going to meet someone new, they won't have, they won't have a way to get you back. They cannot compete with the kind of history that they've created with you, okay? The karmic can't compete with you, and this masculine from your past can't compete with a new person. They're stressed out because they know they're losing you. They know. They're very curious about you. Like I said, they're looking online for any information about who you're with, who you're spending your time with, who's with you, who's around you, who are you giving your love to, who are you being intimate with. I mean, they, they want to know what you're doing and who you're doing it with. Okay. Who's interested in you? Yeah, see, I told you. They're feeling very possessive. Okay, they want to know who you are with, collective, okay? And it's making them really sad. If they find out that you have someone new, oh my gosh, this person is going to be, they're gonna, I feel like they'll fall into a, into a very deep depression. They're going to be crying. But either way, they can't compete with the emperor. And you already know you can feel that new love is coming. Okay? They're, <clears throat> they're really hopeful that they can come back, to, um, come back to you before you get someone new. Otherwise, that's it. They're going to be left out in the cold. Yeah, they've been hesitant for way too long. Okay? Too closed off being stubborn spirit has tried to they've tried to lead this person towards you but they didn't want to come forward before now you're moving on right now they're choosing you and you're going to be choosing this emperor someone new yeah see they resisted showing you any kind of compassion that's what this is they resisted healing this with you. They resisted apologizing for hurting you and breaking your wing, okay? They resisted showing compassion and empathy for what they had done. Okay, so now they're going to be sad because you may be finding new love. You see what I'm saying? It just, um, this person, I feel like they... What did they expect? I mean, seriously, what do they want from you? They pushed you out of their life. Okay? And now your spirit is sending you an emperor to love you the right way, and they're upset about that too? Like, what, you know, they, they were given time to come forward, and they didn't want to? They didn't want to. This person was given a choice. Okay, they were given a choice and they were indecisive, unsure about what they should do. You know, they may have been struggling with this, but what about your struggles? You struggled behind the scenes with this too, more than they did. So I feel like you're moving on. This is, this is you taking a very excited, enthusiastic leap of faith into a future cycle. I'm telling you, you are starting a new life here. And this person, they're very hopeful that they can get back together with you. Okay? I feel like um, they are going to just show up. I told you this person is going to um, communicate with you in person. Didn't I say that? I kind of felt it. Yep. Otherwise, they're going to be stuck on you for life. 
you know, for real. Yeah, feeling lonely. Feeling lonely and around people they don't even want to be around. Whoever this person is around, they're, they have been around low-vibing individuals. I'm telling you, karmic -y individuals that just want to talk about other people, slam you, basically, ruin your reputation, laugh at you, you know. The karmic's not laughing anymore. Neither is this masculine. Um, and they're realizing they're, them being stubborn and resisting this connection just cost them the best thing they're ever going to find in their entire life. I kid you not. They are not going to find another earth angel. Let's see what they want to say. Okay. What does this person want to say to my collective? I'm so sorry for messing everything up. You deserve so much more. I will take action soon. Please believe in me. I wasn't planning on having anything serious when we met, but I can't deny I'm falling for you. Yeah, they can't deny this connection anymore. I love you no matter, or I love you so much no matter what. Sorry, I had a hard time reading that one. Other people were interfering and trying to control me. I feel like that was the karmic individuals that they have been with. Karmic friends, karmic lover. Um, I hope to have a future with you one day. Yeah, they're hopeful. I know what you mean to me. I'm ready to be with only you now. Yeah, so collective, um, this person, <clears throat> I feel like they are about to approach you, but it's taken them too long. Um, and I feel like they, they really, they may want to come in and try to apologize. They're either going to like give you a phone call, text messages, or just come to your door. I feel like they're going to come to your door, but I feel like it's the end to a cycle and spirit is leading you to move on. Spirit has already made a judgment call on this person and they've let you know about it too. And I feel like they want you to start a new cycle and you have new love coming in. This is the person that spirit is leading in for you. The emperor. Okay. And so get excited for the new things to come in your life. This person from your past, I feel like they're going to have to deal with suffering probably the greatest loss of their life here, okay? 